talk to this computer. Sorting. So we're now recording. Um, everybody should have got a copy of the um, agenda. I got Bob's uh, coordinator report. Um, so I know that was sent out via email about 3.30ish, I want to say, thereabouts. Um, I, uh, yeah, I will send the uh, minutes from last meeting. I've, I've, I've got them done but I'll send them by email. Sorry, I've literally just got out the shower. I've been uh, working my ass off all day, which is unusual for me, I know. But there we go. So so welcome everybody. Um, well, I know Liam sent a note. Uh, thank you for that, saying he's got a, a conflict, so he needs to split at sort of 7.30. Hopefully we can plow through this meeting because last, uh, last month we, um, we, uh, we, we didn't have a quorum. We didn't have enough people available to attend, so. And the minutes are exactly the same as it was last month uh, with the addition now that Liam is actually a, a full member. So um, I'd like to start with the, the first item on the agenda, which is an official welcome to our new committee member. Uh, you must be certifiable, Liam, to join us, but uh, welcome aboard. And <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. All right. So which brings us on to... Uh, the second item two on the agenda, because I see I haven't bothered to renumber the agenda here, uh, the review of uh, the MPZ TV website, which is now live, I believe. What else is required? Where, where do we stand with that? What, what do we need to, to get it up and running fully? Uh, I noticed there's a few placeholder bits of text here and there and stuff that probably need replacing, but over to you, Liam, where are we at? frozen <laughs> okay um this is going swimmingly well uh i'm sorry i really do have a terrible connection here <laughs> how, how much of that did you hear any um well let's see who, who has thoughts on what's needed for the website let's just go right to that uh who knows it best I, I've given a cursory glance and I noticed there's a bit of placeholder text. I also think that there needs to be the ability to, uh, that placeholder text obviously needs to go. Uh, the membership is wrong as well. Um, the liaison is still showing Dan Torres and it should be Alex Bear for the town. Um, we could give our address now, I, I believe. Is it, is it officially three? It's official. Yeah, officially three Veterans Drive. So we might want to update the, the website accordingly for that. Um, yeah, the placeholder text, there's, there's lots of, of that floating around that probably needs to come out. But the one thing is that the, um, the, there needs to be a, a form for the bulletin board. So people could submit an event for the bulletin board or, or something, a, a notification, you know, uh, we've got this going on or go to your dad or whatever for your pork chops, except you can't advertise, you know, um, that sort of thing, you know, uh, this event, this facility, this service. So uh, the ability to, um, to submit that would be good. Anybody got anything else on there? Yeah, the bulletin board, I think I was, I needed to get something together. Well, I'm happy to work with you that if you if you want me to, um, you know, if there's any sort of JavaScript or whatever floating around. Apparently, I've got Mike Pence's fly come to visit now. <laughs> hey, Anton. Yes, sir. Uh, my connection is so bad. I'm not sure how how consistent I'm going to be able to participate. But if if um, if someone would compile the things that need to be changed in the website and send it to me in an email, I'll make those changes as soon as I get them. And I know there was talk of um, adding a live feed to the homepage to channel 23. Right. Um, and and I, I will get on that. Uh, I've been very busy right now with trying to get a book published. So my time has been uh, really caught up with other things, but I know that's still on the list. Okay. Well, good, so, luck with um, good luck with the book, yeah. All right, well, I think, I think we had him yeah, and we... Sorry, sorry. I, just, I just had like a refresh going on through half of what you said, but um, 
yeah, so that's my connection issue. So it, you know, uh, besides the live feed uh, for the home page, uh, just send me on the required changes and I will make them. Okay. Okay. The uh, the uh, I I don't know if you've got it. You you obviously in your car, so you can't take notes because. I um, mean, there, there are a couple of things that are fairly simple, but I mean, okay, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll um, throw an email together. Well, that would be great. Thank you. No worries. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll move on then. So um, Liam, if you, if you've got somewhere to be and cause now we're getting into the PA coordinators, the PA TV coordinators report, uh, please, you, you, we'd love you to be here, but if you, if you need to go or if your connection won't sustain you, I, I understand. Please go. Bye then. Um, sure. no? Yeah, my, my, my connection keeps dropping, <laughs> Anton, so I think I should just back out and let you guys carry on without the interruptions. All right. Thanks for showing um, up. I, I, you know, I will review the notes when I get them, and when I get that email, I'll implement the changes on the website um, we're discussing as soon as I can get to it. And good luck with the book. Yeah, good luck with the book. Uh, yes. Yes, thank you. All right. All right. You all have a you all have a good night. Thank you. You you be safe and well. Speak to you soon. Yeah, take care. Bye now. Bye. All right, Bob, over to you. Coordinators report. Well, I'm not gonna repeat everything I sent to you. So just read what I sent to you and then we can talk about the issues that we that I've talked about in the coordinators report. Okay. Um yeah, I don't want to have to go through the trouble of actually putting this into the minutes, but I suppose I could. I could just attach it. Um, yeah, just all right, attach. just attach it. All right, fine. So the overheating side of things, you're right. I think it's it's largely performing. I haven't checked today, but when when the spirit moves me, I check to see that we've got you know a live feed. I query if YouTube is the best version of that, but it's certainly the least expensive. Um, if you want to go with Ustream or, or somebody else, they all want big bucks for doing a, you know, permanent live feed sort of thing. So how about the Vimeo? How, how much is Vimeo? Um, if you want to do 24 seven, I believe there's a cost, but I, I haven't looked into that. Do you want to, you want to have a butchers on yeah, that? I'll take a look at it. Don't, don't you use Vimeo, Don? I do. Yes. What's that? Yeah, but you don't live stream, right? Tom? No. no, but I do have a, a a plus membership. So if there's a capability, I probably could facilitate it, even though I'm ignorant about that. <laughs> you could use me as your, as your mule. Oh, you know, as a test site, maybe. Yeah. Let me uh, quickly look at Vimeo live streaming. So, certainly when I looked, I believe it's not free. But I, I, I believe I have a pretty high, high level account. Um, so, uh, I'll take a look and see what the capabilities are that I have paid for and don't know about. Okay. And, uh, okay, this, I have something else for the next item on the, on the agenda, but that's all, all right. I have on that. The, um, Al Pro, uh, was the next thing while Bob's looking up Vimeo. Um, the Al Pro, um, it looks like a great bit of kit. I mean, obviously you've been playing with it. I think it'll... It'll work well um, when people do start meeting again in person. Um, the way things are panning out at the moment, pandemic-wise, that may not be too soon. Yeah, I would like to try to do a test. You know, I think we're beyond our 30-day return, but it seemed it seemed good enough. Good enough for a thousand bucks. Well, I'm happy to. Going. But just to see how it. Uh, we're, I'm especially interested in the audio, how, how well it works. So I just need like three people or me and two other people to come to the community center, be socially distanced yep. and well, um, try it out. I'm happy to be your pandemic brother. So, me too. Uh, no worries, uh, count me in. Uh, if you can work out uh, a good the schedule. Time. Yeah. yeah. Just, just want, you know, if we can get all three of us in the same room at the same time, that'd be fantastic. But yeah. I think a weekend would be good. Say again, sorry? A weekend, Saturday or Sunday? Um, depends on which weekend and what time. But yeah, I mean, for, for the most part, I can. This Certainly the end of October for me was ridiculous as well, you can imagine. Right. Uh, 
various spiritual commitments, but um, maybe the weekend uh, before Thanksgiving. What's this? Is then, not this weekend, but next weekend, is it? Yeah. Without ruining the recording, I will just check my calendar. We can do that now. Uh, so we're talking. Um, like the seventeenth or eighteenth. Um. Twenty first, twenty seventh. I was going to say the seventeenth, eighteenth is a Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, okay. So um. Yeah, twenty first or the twenty second. I th I think would work. I I you don't. We're talking a half an hour. You know. Right. The 22nd is out for me, actually. I, I've got a course on that day. Um, but the 21st is a possibility um, for me, definitely. How about you, Don? I'm, I'm usually around during the weekends. What's that? I'm usually around during the weekends. Okay. okay. Can we provisionally do um, make a date for the 21st then? Saturday, what, uh, one o'clock? One o'clock in time for lunch. Tumpty tumpty tum. Okay, sounds like a plan. Does that work for you? Sure. That'd be a community center. And uh, basically, can you bring your laptop with yep. you? Yep, absolutely. And can you um, upload the Al um, application? Okay. So there's a there's an app for the Al, is there? Yeah. Okay. We'll. Yeah, I'm sorry, I've checked my Vimeo uh, uh, subscription. Uh, one of the features is premium live stream streaming. Wow. How much is that? It's uh, 75 bucks a month. Wow. Yeah, you but, are paying big bucks. Well, that's not, that's for unlimited uh, uploads and, you know, I, I upload a lot of video, so. Right. Yeah, because I, I'm, <laughs> I was looking at OTT, which I don't know what it means. Over the top. Vimeo OTT. The starter plan is one dollar. The growth plan is five hundred dollars a month. Yes. Okay. Enterprise is talk to our team. You will give us <laughs> the blood of your firstborn, perhaps. <laughs> All right, we're in then. So our app. We we can play. Um if you can uh let us have the the streaming details for that we can we can do a test see yeah. whether it's any better on vimeo okay um obviously don't don't put them up on here <laughs> just do that as a pm or send them to bob or whatever and we'll we'll give it a go and configure it we'll try it all right let's get back to this meeting so we've got that sorted and i'll test then Fantastic. So that brings us on to the third item, which is also on the agenda as well um, for um, item five, which is the plan to move into the space. Um, obviously, uh, we've got a fundamental problem in so much as the, the, the fiber connection isn't long enough. Um, right. so it's going to make it. So uh, we need Spectrum's help, but, you know, don't hold your breath on that. Um, well, you know, because of the election, I haven't really pressured it. Right, right. Pushed it. So maybe this week, I, you know, it's Veterans Day Wednesday, so I have the day off. So maybe yeah. I can um, talk to Jennifer, try to try to get her on board. If not, we can go through Neil. I'm not sure if Jen Metzger is going to be in charge or not. Right. Well, I mean, I don't know when. Um the regime change is, but she wasn't successful in retaining a seat, I believe. Well, it's still up in the air. It's up in the air? Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's 25,000 votes not been counted. Okay, all right. So so we, we, we don't know yet. Yeah. Well, having worked in uh, government, both in the Board of Education and uh, the Village, I think the key to getting a, a fiber line to the community center it runs through the assistant to the supervisor. They're the customer, they pay the bill. If they just schedule a service call, Spectrum will come. They're the customer, they want a new line run. I don't think it's, it requires cooperation from uh, 
spectrum and they have no, we have no standing with them. We don't pay them. But yeah. if, if Alex Bear were to facilitate the assistant to the supervisor, just scheduling a service call with Spectrum to run a line, I don't think it requires their permission or negotiation. Yeah, but it might require a uh, cost. Mm -hmm. Now, this is COVID related, so hopefully it wouldn't require a cost to think about this. Well, this sort, of, this sort of ties into the fourth item, so we might as well run them all in together because the last response I got from Jennifer was, um, oh, well, I've reached out to your supervisor, but I haven't heard anything back. But I believe Neil hasn't heard anything from him anyway. So, Well, again, I think the key there is to get the, super, the supervisor's assistant, Kathy, if it's still Kathy. I'm not sure if she's yeah, still there. Yeah. All right, Kathy, would you please call Spectrum and arrange a meeting, a Zoom meeting, between this coordinator person and Neil and, and, and Bob or and Anton? I, I think since they're the people who pay the bill, they're the people the Spectrum will listen to when they have to because you know, they're the customer. And Neil's too busy, but Kathy's not. Okay. You, you want to take that one on, Bob? Or do you want... Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I've been throwing bombs at the uh, town council in the newspaper for a year, so probably not me. <laughs> no, I can, I can do that because I've already prepped, the, uh, prepped it. Okay. Well, talking to them before, so... We, we're uh, we're in pretty good shape. I mean, we've got we've got the paperwork. Well, I'm about to send the paperwork away to get our nonprofit registered. Um, in terms of that, um, also M&T um, &T Bank, um, who we use, my company, have, have offered uh, in terms of sponsorship for MPZ TV to provide free banking services. So that's kind oh, nice. of cool. Great. Nice. We'll take it. If anything's free. It's all good. So, but we, you know, in terms of things that we also need to get, we need a, a bean counter, an accountant, somebody who's prepared to, just don't, don't have me count the beans. I'm no bloody good at that. Um, and, and as a nonprofit, you know, you've got to be squeaky clean on the audit trail as well. So, um, so yeah, we, need, we probably need a, an accountant, pub, a public accountant. Um, it would be nice if we could find, I don't know what kind of liability insurance we would need or whatever, you know? Um, but I mean, there's, there's that presumably. But. I would hope that we could be covered under the town and the villages policy. Yeah, me too. Uh, it's, it's an independent body, so it might not, but I think we should at least ask, uh, you yeah, know, a lot of, a lot of organizations do. All right. Uh, and well, uh, it, it really is members of the public and there's nobody, you know, this is, this is, the, it's, it's not like a, a, a for-profit business, you know, it's a, it's a volunteer organization. So can't help but ask. Yep. So, yep. Hey, on uh, other business, uh, before we start to wind down, do you all want a press release at some point? I started writing one, but you know, I'm not sure if we're there yet and have all our ducks in a row where we want to do that, but it's half written. So at any point in time, you all want to start moving on that, just let me know. Well, we certainly uh, certainly would nice to have something on the, you know, on the, the website um, and, and reaching out. You know, we've, we've got a fair amount of work to do. I mean, the first gig was obviously we secured the studio space and we've got to begin the process of moving into that. Um, then, yeah, there's registering the nonprofit, but I, I don't intend to, I'm sure like you guys, you know, we're just facilitators and, the idea being, you know, we'll do it as long as we want to do it. And, you know, when, when it, the spirit doesn't move us anymore, there's an organization for somebody else to step into. But we might want to start looking at bylaws and things like that and, um, you know, levels of membership and, and ways that uh, MPZ TV can actually physically bring funds in so it can function. And so it can, uh, you know, it's, yes, obviously there should be some support from both town and village, um, but, it, the you know whatever it can do in the same way as Unison does to to raise funds it, it should do um, you know and it's a perfect opportunity I mean we, we really need transparency of government now I don't think there's been a uh, a clearer <laughs> indication of the need for that than than recent events um, so transparency of government you know unbiased truthful news you know that can't be bought etc cetera, etc cetera, all of this 
good stuff. Um, so yeah. And on a humorous note, when I got the uh, incorporation papers for the 30, 301C, 5013C, yeah, yeah. I laughed my ass off that I was chosen as CFO. My <laughs> wife keeps the checkbook. <laughs> I once, many years ago, many years ago, wrote my bank manager and asked for a volume discount on bounce check charges. So, <laughs> I'm your CFO, guys. Good choice. <laughs> Listen, it's a placeholder. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's a placeholder. Just, just don't let a checkbook anywhere near me. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, we, <laughs> we ain't got any money to spend anyway, mate. <laughs> well, that's because I'm in charge. <laughs> <laughs> we've, uh, we've been using our own checkbooks at this point <laughs> to, uh, to, to buy the various bits and bobs to, uh, to make the thing work. So, you know. And also to produce video that uh, Don has helped. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I'm I'm very optimistic. I, I I I believe we have a conversation with optimism now. It's alive and well and living. So um, to summarise, I, I I think we we've done it all, unless I'm completely mistaken here. Um, Liam needs a, a list of stuff that uh, via email for for the website. Um, but again, I'm I'm game on to to work with you on that, uh, Bob. Whatever, whatever you need. Um, the, the, we've set a date to, to do a, a conference test on the owl and I'll download that app. Um, we've, uh, we're well, working we need to do, say again, sorry. Well, one thing we need to do is test the, uh, live streaming for the bit rate that we're, we were having problems with uh oh, yeah 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 no that's that's something we should work on i'm, I'm sorry i've just been so busy this last couple of weeks i i haven't had may, maybe we can do it as a um a twofer when we do the owl test well certainly we can see what's coming in on on one of the local monitors on, right. on one of the dual monitors and we can see what's coming in on the the uh the mvd and then it's just a question of tuning it to fit you know what's what's going out and Probably mm -hmm. we've got a mismatch. See, it's, if it was so stuttery, I would think that would be a clocking issue if the audio was off. Okay, so we can make that a uh, a double yeah. bonus for yeah. that Saturday. Just I, try I to agree. make it all. Once we get that, then we could be we could be um, going live with just this. Yeah, alone, and then start doing all the town meetings, and eventually the village meetings. Yeah. Um, but the other thing is as well, if we've got that capability, um, but again, this would need, you know, I'm, I'm hoping somewhere in the back of my mind that, you know, there's somebody available in the studio that, you know, can put a live feed to air. If, if there's something happening, you know, and you come across it, that you can whop out your mobile phone and you can quickly get that feed directly to, to channel 23. Yeah. It's, it's all doable, you know? So, so each and every one of us can be little news hounds if we wanted to be. You know, because what's going on in our community, it's great. People want to see it. Like what you were saying when you drove down Main Street the other day, the, the, the spontaneous exuberance, you know, when, when the results were called finally. Um, the, the, yeah, I heard all the beeping and honking and stuff, and it would have been nice to have got some of that up and, you know, shown it. Were you able to get any of that, Bob? I did go down there. I did videotape it, but it wasn't uh, what I thought was broadcastable good <laughs> gotcha. okay I got it. yeah i've been out down there for an hour and get maybe 15 minutes of good so i understand yeah all right. all right guys um well yeah and the final thing is you're going to talk to kathy regarding the the two issues of the extending that well putting in a service call and uh, to get the, the fiber link extended so we can actually physically move the broadcast rack and, uh, and the HD. And the HD, yeah. So invite them to a, a Zoom call, which will be recorded. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and let's, any, anybody got any other business? I uh, just said I'm a, I'm a volunteer now, so I don't have to listen to you guys anymore. <laughs> okay. fine, mate. 
fine by me. You never listened to me in the first place anyway. That's for sure. <laughs> used to be ignored. <laughs> that's, that's, my wife has taught me well. <laughs> so, no, it's all good. Listen, um, I, I'm, I'm totally stoked. I think that was an amazingly um, magnanimous and generous move on your part, to be honest. And yeah. given... Yeah. Given the ridiculous financial constraints our administration is going to find itself in, unless, you know, things do shift, but probably no move before January at this point. Yeah, that's for sure. You know, one, one thing's, uh, you know, that's, it's, it's, we're very low hanging fruit, very low hanging fruit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a way to, you know, save a shekel here or there. So, yeah, and we've known that for, for a long time. The writing's been on the wall, you know, so, um, yeah, but that's why we're here. We're still, we're still volunteering and, and doing what we can. And if it, if it weren't for guys like you and Don, there would be no PATV. There just wouldn't. And you. I hamper more than help. <laughs> well, <laughs> on that happy note, I'm going to, I'm going to bow out. Yep. Oh, yeah. if, if, unless we have any other, any other business, <coughs> I, I move we adjourn. Uh, let me just get the date for the next meeting before everybody buggers off. Um, well, our next meeting will be uh, Monday, December 7th at 7. Oh, God. Do you say which will live in Italy? What? Who? Hey. Is that no good? No, just it's Pearl Harbor Day. That's, oh. That date is always followed by a day which will live in infamy. The F. Franklin <laughs> Roosevelt speech. Yes. See, now, I, I do know what you're talking about, but my American history is sadly lacking in that respect. I'm, yeah. I'm, I apologize profusely. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've been talking for, for a number distinct. of years before that. That's all I'm saying. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so, anyway, so yeah, uh, 7 p.m. December 7th, uh, which is Pearl Harbor Day, if that's okay. Um, but yeah, I move that we adjourn this meeting. All right. All right. Stay okay. safe. We're done. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Take care. Thank and I will finish the recording and send it to you, Bob. Thank you. All right. Take care, guys. <laughs>